everyone, it's CDS here, back for day 21 of 31 days of horror and today we are going to watch Fear.com Fear.com is a movie directed by William Malone, is that? Yes, that's correct uh, Starring Stephen Dorff, Natasha McElhone and Stephen Ree and it's the story of uh, someone's gonna, I think, someone called Matt Crowley I think it's someone probably like a star of the government of the time uh, he's going to team up with a team from the de Department of Health to track down some murdery, sadist person who's broadcasting an uh, act of torture on the internet. And so, uh, just for that, it looks kind of interesting, kind of, of a um, synopsis, I guess. And uh, so the movie is set in 2002. I also wanted uh, some movies in this uh, in those 31 days of horror they're not all from like the last four or five years so this one is uh, like 16 years old so I wanted some movies that are not uh, as recent and um, so yeah 2002 I think I recognize as well I think that's Natasha McElhern I think that's if I remember correctly if I don't I'll put the correct uh, uh, fact somewhere on the screen here uh, that recognized from uh, Californication. I really liked her in that. I was just wondering uh, how she is in all that kind of stuff. So yeah, hopefully that one's going to be good. Uh, today there's not going to be any um, dinner or like lunch. Today I'm just have some uh, some frozen goodness. So that's uh, pineapple. You can see I think some blackberry and there's like one piece left of mango and there's some strawberries only because. Uh, it's uh, super super hot today, uh, probably like 30 degrees or something and also because I caved in when I was at work and when it came just a, bit before, just a little before 1 I just uh, was hungry so I ate, yeah and it was delicious Oh something I should try if you haven't before If you go to Pret, get yourself the sandwich with Italian prosciutto in it I think there's some parmigiano and some basilic and some tomatoes It is delicious It's Oh, so good. <laughs> I've just finished watching uh, Fear.com and I've got to say it was uh, kind of entertaining, it wasn't bad, it wasn't good, it was just entertaining. Uh, so good, I think a bit over an hour and a half, something like that. Uh, there's an uh, interesting uh, subject in there, so the Fear.com is a website that's just uh, used by the killer to broadcast some... Um, is kidding then but there's also a fact that there's like a theory someone had a theory that if you build like a supercomputer then the energy can of uh, you can give energy to it but also the computer can take energy from you so it's a bit like sci-fi e kind of um, horror movie uh, there was also a at the beginning the reason why the um, health department what school was because at the beginning there was fear of uh, bacterial, viral maybe infection going on. Uh, that was killing people um, with the bloody eyes. Uh, but this why I saw, uh, put aside or simply forgotten. I think it was just simply forgotten. There's a lot of thing in that movie that was just simply forgotten or that just did not make sense other than the. Uh, like the milk people not wearing any protection or then people from the um, from the health department not wearing protection when you su you suspect maybe there's something super dangerous that might keep people around making yourself you don't go like uh, check stuff wearing at least gloves or like a mask uh, so other than that the thing that didn't make sense to me was like uh, they meant two character so the policeman and the lady from the health department 
all of a sudden they seem to be super friends although they have never met before they seem to be like super friends and then they become some sort of flirty thingy I've got to say I had the feeling I was like hmm I can smell like there's gonna be some romance going on it's like but why where is this coming from it's like all of a sudden like no let's just see that makes sense and what did that make sense beside that it was just all at some point I felt like it was just all over the place so they forgot it seems like they forgot about the uh, infection going on about people uh, bleeding from their eyes it seemed to have forgotten about this um, the fact that there's like some sci-fi uh, things so like a um, the spirit of uh, one of the dead ladies that a spoiler if you want to uh, stop watching, give a thumbs up now uh, and then you can stop watching. <laughs> but if you don't mind being spoiled, keep going. Um, so there's like the spirit of a um, someone who's been killed um, through a game. That actually, the um, the killer has like, created some sort of game uh, channel thing that people can watch. The, uh, I don't know, was it the killer? It's not specified, of course, but... So the thing was like there was some sort of game in addition to to the broadcast the live broadcast of the of the murders. So the spirits of the dead girl just go through the game or like what the entry requirements questions of the broadcast and to try to get revenge of some sort. And uh, what's was interesting though in the movie is that the the killer uh was looking for fame through sort of trappers and using death as a mean to get a uh, to entertain people which reminded me of some stuff that happened earlier this year it's like if those people who made the movie field.com were on youtube when they made it around january 2018 they'd be like huh it's weird we're a bit like the system we predicted stuff that people would do anything on the internet for to get like admiration for people they don't even know like so for that it was a bit uh, interesting that was a bit um yeah very interesting and uh, there's a word there's a much more fancy word that to use for that uh yeah so it's like a medium kind of thing that sometimes just people will do anything for subscribers just like back uh from january 2018 this year and yeah, so that was uh, entertaining. It wasn't a bad movie, uh, like I said. So yeah, if you just got any just time to spare, watch the movie. It's very good. What's good also, I really liked is the is the music that was used. That was uh, very good and very uh, atmosphere created, like a very good atmosphere. Uh, this uh, and the colors as well, and of the color grading. And the uh, the old movie as a as an idea, I really liked it. And the thing, obviously, I didn't like that. Sometimes it was all over the place, and I forgot about things. But yeah, it's a it's a movie to watch for sure for Halloween. Uh, maybe if you just want to like have an easy Halloween night. Uh, but yeah, if you're still there, uh, don't forget to like the video. Do say what you think of the video in the comments. If you have watched that movie, do tell me as well uh, if you like it or not. Uh, just so we can talk about it simply, have a debate on that movie. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell for new videos, notification of new videos. Come back tomorrow uh, for, for day 20. Can't even remember. I filmed the the introduction like an hour and a half ago, and I can't remember. My memory is terrible. Sorry, guys. Uh, but the reason was just I'll see you tomorrow, anyways, for the next day of 31 Days of Horror. Bye.